Hi, I'm Francisco, and I'm here with Amory Malcolm. Hi, Amory. Hi, Fran. Hi, Amory is my uh, mother's wonderful caregiver for the last year, since April 2012. And we're going to be talking a little bit about why it's important to have the right caregiver and what it, what it means to be the right caregiver in the home for someone. And Amory, you've done such a wonderful job with my mom. Thank you. So we're going to talk a couple of minutes and then we're going to put this video up on the internet and then once it's on the internet, hopefully it'll help many other people. Okay. Okay? Okay. Amory, so you're in this business of helping people, elderly people, disabled people. Why? What is it about the business that brought you to it? I love it because I take my job serious I'm not, and I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it because I care about elderly people and that's what I'm in it for. Some people work because they get in a check but I work because I care. And what? why do you think you're like that? I mean because there's some people who don't care about people but there are others like you who do. So what makes you care about other people? I, I'm, I'm, I'm from Jamaica where we care about the elderly. Coming to this country, I go to school and I've been caring for the elderly for 20 years and I'm certified. Okay, so this, when you say certified, you have a, certi a certificate for being a certified nurse's aide, right? That's correct. And also you're a, like an HHA, certified home health aide, is right. that right? Right. Okay. and. And you've had those certificates for like 20 years, right? Right. Okay, so we mentioned earlier that you've been helping my mother, right, for, for about a year. Part of the process, by the way, of helping my mother, you, you're looking right at me, right? Look at right at me. Uh, part of the process of helping my mother was that we needed to apply to the long-term care insurance company and get you a to be an approved caregiver and we submitted your credentials, your certificate, your experience uh, and then they approved you and they've been reimbursing some of your ex the expense. For people who don't have a long-term care insurance policy, they can pay you on the books, isn't that correct? That is correct. Okay, and you could, you work both through agencies and also private pay, right? Private that is correct, Fran. That you're working directly for other people. Now tell me a little bit about, well, in fact, let me set it up where you can tell a little bit about my mother who's 85 and has Parkinson's and the way in which you've helped her, some of the things that you do for her. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, Ellen is 85 years old. She has Parkinson's. And she's a very nice lady. Sometimes she get a little confused, but with my experience, I can deal with it, cause I know the word that she says is not she, cause she get a little confused at times. But my job is to secure her safety, see that she's perfectly fine, and whatever she said, it don't bother me. Oh, okay. So that you know, that takes an extraordinary amount of patience. Because I find that when some people are confused and sometimes maybe they have a urinary tract infection that leads to some of that confusion or they have a little bit of dementia, that sometimes they can get a little aggravated or annoyed, you know, and say sometimes even mean things. But you, and because of your disposition and the way you are with people, you don't let that get you upset and therefore you're able to work it out with the people and it doesn't get them upset. You don't get into an argument. Right, because we, we train for that. We train for all kind of different patients. So when you get a patient that's mentioned, you know what you're getting into. So whatever she said, right. you heard it, but you act like you don't hear it. You know, when you mention about the training, I believe how important that is. But I also want to add this, is it also comes, the training helps your head yes, it to do. understand things.
but it's hard to train the heart. And it seems that you had that training before you even became a caregiver. I don't know, is it, I know that a number of people from Jamaica seem to have that special characteristic uh, of loving people and caring for people and being patient with people. What What is that? Is it? Yes, we have that, that because we Jamaican, we care about our parents and we take care of them once they get sick. So we have that soft spot that tenderness oh, for handling okay. people. Because we, we, we care with, with me, I know about me, I care for Ellen the same way I would care for my mom. Wow, that's great. So that's, that, that's about me. And I hope everybody think the same way I think. And now me as my mother's daughter, I feel very, very comfortable knowing that she's in your hands. I'm only four miles away I'm not that far away that I can get here and I do see her every other day, that type of thing. But I feel very, very comfortable that she's in good hands with you. And I must say that you continually provide me with updated information to help me, as her child, handle her care along with you. And let me mention something else about some of the other things that you do. You handle her medications and her supplements and vitamins, and we have that detailed chart that you go through. There must be about 20 different things that you give her during the day. Yes, and that is very important to keep track of every, everything that she's get, she's get. Also keep track of what she's doing the day because that is very important in case you go to the doctor and they want to know what she had for dinner, what was the temperature, you have everything. Right. So you health. like take on, you have one chart where you, you have her blood pressure and her temperature, temperature and her heartbeat movement. and all that, bowel movements and stuff, how much water you've given her, what she had to eat at all the different times. You have that record and then you have the medications record, right? And right. you have all of that. Then you keep her calendar. Right. You know when you mentioned before that the, uh, the foot doctor is coming to the home to cut her nails and things like that. You take her to her neurologist and uh, you really have done a phenomenal job. And also, I keep her up to date with everything that's going on around her, around her surrounded. I tell her when she's going to the doctor, what is what, when the doctor is coming, when the doctor is not coming. And it's very important to let she knows what's going on around her. Right, and also you enjoy things with her like you'll watch a movie together. Take her out to You'll take eat. her out to, say, Glen Island Park. Take her out to eat. eat. You'll stop at, uh, you know, different places like a McDonald's for a, a nice uh, vanilla ice cone cream. that she, ice cream that she likes. And, uh, you know, you hit it on the head. You treat her like you would your own mother. Yes, and I keep her up to date every day with what's going on. I tell her the month, the day, the time and that's very important for somebody who have dementia you got to make them know today is monday or today is tuesday and what going or what what you're going to do and everything that around them that keep the mind the brains going you understand right. they just don't want to get up and do something there and she don't know what's going on tell me a little bit about some of the other patients that you've helped over well i the have years. i had a patient that i take care of for 10 years she had a brain tumor for 10 years. Wow. Until she passed away. And then I had a patient. How old about was she when she, she passed, passed away? She passed away when she was about 52. Oh, she was young. So what, She was young. Was she very disabled? Was she able to walk around? No, she and, was bed bound. Oh. She was bed bound. Wow, that that she, was an, she an, another level of for care. herself. Hmm. And I take, I take care of um, a patient she was bed bound, bed bound, totally bed bound, peg feed, peg feed, peg wow. tube. Oh. And peg tube mean that you got to feed her from the tube in her stomach. You know, when you oh. go to the doctor, they, that's what she was. And I take was care of her. Was she able to talk with you and stuff? She could talk, but she was also dementia. Oh. So I got to know what I'm doing. Right. So she was peg feed. Did I take care of her for about three years? Right. Wow. Oh, so there was one for ten years and one for one for three, years three. plus. 
Plus, plus I think others. there are others now, you know, right. for here. You know, in my mom's months. case, we should mention, my mom has, she's 85, she has Parkinson's. Right. So her balance isn't the best. But it isn't the best. Her tremors are less now because of the good care of Dr. Clark, I right. think, and all his uh, supplements. Um, uh, but she is challenged with these bouts of confusion and things like that. You seem to get her to be cheerful, to have a sunny disposition, even in the times when she's down. She's down, you know. And yes. and you, uh, I, you know, want to say it again. You've done a great job. So you know what? If we could just summarize some of these points, I'll mention a few, and then you chime in and mention some about being a good caregiver of an elderly person in the home I think number one is you gotta have a good heart and really care and love doing that right? honesty honesty trust trust very good you gotta, you gotta be organized also you be organized. because you gotta have lists of what foods they need mm -hmm. so you can tell the daughter like me what to get so right. you do that you fax me lists and stuff like that but most of all you gotta be honest Honest. You gotta, you gotta be honest. You gotta be trustworthy. Trust. You gotta see things and leave it as it is. By going working. Very good. Else. And you have to have a lot of experience. A lot of experience. So you can patient. Call, patient. Wow. You have a to lot be of patience. patience. You gotta be having a lot of patience. Okay. So these are some of the things that someone watching this video will hopefully note that they need to consider so, yeah. when selecting a caregiver. caregiver. All right, and of right. course, in the community, you know many people who many are, people care, are caregivers. caregivers also, so maybe you could help the people watching this I will. with re referring someone. All right, yeah. Amory. So, Amory Malcolm, you live in the Bronx. You've been helping my mother, Eleanor Cisco, for the last year. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome, friend.